Check, check, one, two. Hello. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. I'm just trying to practice You're not my karaoke. On there, so that's, that's fine, thing. Do it again. OBS doesn't matter. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Was that pretty good? Was that in the first one? Was that what the song says? It's like the guy at the karaoke. I was mid game. Okay, I have to finish. I'm almost there. I'm so close. Can I do it for you? No. Can I finish it for you? Don't even describe what he's got. Don't. Let's act like you're not playing a game. Just say what you said again. I have to finish. I was. I. I'm so close. I'm so close. <laughs> I'm almost there. I'm almost there. <laughs> this man really <laughs> likes his solitaire, if you know what I If you oh, catch man. our drift, yeah, wink, you, wink. All you audio listeners, you'll be confused. He's playing solitaire. Or is he really? Wink, wink. Like solitary confinement to addiction. Nice. Hey, one of our microphones is bad. Addiction Good one. Thing. Which one? Um, Thane? Yours. Check. Blah. It's yours, guy. Check. Check. Whoa. Sorry about that weird noise. Again. All better. All better. Do you think it was just like a... Mm, I imagine it was like a... Mm, what if it was just a constant... I guess you would see like the little, little lines. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the, to the Talking Rad Podcast episode 148. I thought we passed 150 though. Not there yet. Oh, because we've been doing bi-weekly now. Oh, well, actually, it's not even that consistent because I was gone last this whole last week. One forty eight. Welcome, everybody. We're doing a podcast today starring your your favorite rad cats. The Bicurious Boys. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. They, they like that's, that one. That's hilarious. <laughs> so I got I got to say and that just flows off the tongue. Say you're the only person that that's hasn't said that anything yet. But there's a new vehicle in our driveway, and when I, Thane and I, wait, 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 I want to pause real quick. I haven't said anything about it. You've, you, okay, I guess you've only casually joked after Thane. Well, okay, we'll have to we'll have to come back to what I said because I don't remember saying anything. When you're talking about what I said earlier today. No, you said something last night, but you were also like in and out of consciousness while you were talking to Thane and I. Oh so really? I'll, I'll let it go. I don't know. You'll have to tell me. Oh, I really don't remember. <laughs> no. So anyway, there's a new vehicle. I'm definitely clicking I got home, too. I got I'm gonna turn myself night. down a bit. You're booming. I got home last night at like. You're uh, booming, mate. It was probably like, <laughs> God, I don't know, what did I do? Nine, nine thirty, and Thane goes to work early in the morning, so we have to switch cars. So I like Thane, let's go swap cars. So we go out there, and I move my car, and then Thane pulls out, and moves his car. First thing he says, he can't even say it without smirking. Now watch, I'm gonna say it, and he's gonna <laughs> laugh. He's gonna laugh. He's already smirking. This yeah, is what he, he said, the freaking guy. <laughs> he went like this, an epic breathe. <laughs> he couldn't even say it. Say it like that. Not <laughs> you, please. <laughs> say it. Say it without smirking. I was like, kind of smirk. You got a Prius? <laughs> he smirked. <laughs> he can't do it without. He can't say Prius without laughing. Prius. Try again. Prius. <laughs> Prius. Prius. You got a Prius. Pre-cum. So. <laughs> So pre cum in my Prius. <laughs> That's a rap song. That's horrible. <clears throat> That's a cool so, song. Yeah, I, me I drive a Prius now, and it gets baller gas mileage. So you can take your Prius joke and sit on a thing. It's a vagina on wheels. So what did I say? <laughs> That's pretty much what you said yesterday. Oh, when I was just trying to like make reference to the movie. Yeah. Didn't I say it though? Because Thane was like joking. I well, I was laughing because I said Thane or I said Cole. Thane can't say the word Prius without smirking, and then you said something along those lines. But you were like also halfway asleep. You weren't doing good. Last I really night. don't remember a word I said last night. Yeah. I know I made that joke earlier today, but I did it in a very mocking tone because Thane was making fun of your Prius. So I was mocking Thane, not the Prius, when I said he, it. He did compliment the Prius, though, <clears throat> because when you first started up, the gas engine doesn't turn on. It's just the electric. So quiet. Yeah, it's so it's a quiet. hybrid. Thane's like, so quiet, you can totally hit someone without making a sound. A Prius is basically silent under so what like is it? A hit four or five miles an a hour. A hit and kind of brisk walk away. It's not a hit and run anymore. It's not a hit and run anymore. Well, I so I learned this. I, I, I don't think... The Prius I drive, yeah, that's uh, my sister gave it to me. It's a zipper. I want to see it. But my uh, 
so I learned this that electric cars now I can't remember what year this rule was passed but they have to beep uh, when you're backing really? up really yeah like it has to make noise because they're so quiet wow does yours beep mine Oops. beeps on the inside but I don't think it beeps on the outside could you hear a beep <laughs> that's helpful <No. laughs> But that's what I'm saying. It's like, I don't good. know what year it was passed that it beeps on the outside, too. So maybe you're fine, then. Well. Or is it a new? Are they still making new Priuses? Yeah. Yeah. No, well, yeah, I'm fine. Like, I guess I'm grandfathered in because I. <laughs> maybe you're fine. So if you kill someone, maybe that's the loophole. If you back over a small child, then it's a loophole. You have to wear it like that, Sky. <laughs> I don't uh, like wearing it like that. You're okay. Like, get used to it. No. <laughs> It's like a meteor van because I see the door in the back. It's like one of those. A hatchback? Like, yeah. It's just like, that it's makes it a van? A meteor yeah. van. It's just a hatchback. It doesn't yeah, make it a van. It's minivans. It's a hatchback of Notre Dame. Hatchbacks Notre Dame. are more common than minivans, Thane. They're co- but they are on minivans. You know the, you know the, the, the Toyota AE86 that is in the anime? That is a hatchback? It is a hatchback, yeah. Listen, I'm not saying all cars have hatchbacks, but I'm saying all minivans have hatchbacks. Do you count that as a hatchback? I mean, I guess it hatches. I've never considered a minivan a hatchback, though. I've just thought of that as a door. Hatchback, like... I mean, yeah, technically it would be a hatchback. But the hatchback, it's like almost like the whole freaking thing. Speaking of minivans... You and Thane are the pretty much the only two people in my life that I knew had minivans <coughs> growing up. Because your mom always drove one. Yeah. And Thane always drove one. <laughs> well, Thane was his own mom. <laughs> I guess... Um, no, I got a hand-me-down. By <laughs> extension, I, I drove my mom's a lot. I literally got this freaking Windstar and they got a journey. <laughs> you got a Windstar. Why do, I, why do I get this freaking minivan? <laughs> you got a 2001 Windstar. <laughs> the minivan was great. I love <laughs> <that>. <laughs> yeah, because they're want to make out in the back of it. <laughs> Thing, it's got a, it's got the extended space in the back. Do you want us to make out in the front where you, you are? I bet you someone porked in the back door or diddle diddle each other. I didn't know it. <laughs> or diddle. Who? Who are you driving? Who? Or did I don't, did someone have it before you? I don't know. It's a thick van. <laughs> it's a, it's a dirty someone probably got in your van. Yeah, someone probably got made in there. That's or some meth. Meth, oh. meth. meth was cracked. Was cracked back there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you buy a used car, flash a blue light, see if you see any stains. Oh, I'd rather he just winks. not. He winked. <laughs> <laughs> like he was the one it's making like, the stains. Mm, this looks like. J- Wait, there's a lot up. Oh Jesus! All over the steering wheel. Uh, you look I on your. You look on that. your own body. There's tons of it all over. Oh, okay. Somehow, oh. I guess I got caught you. <laughs> caught in the crossfire. Oh yeah, I forgot. I'm schizophrenic. Am I? I'm a murderer. <laughs> There's blood all over you. It's like, yeah. I can't stop playing with this guy. I I play with it all day long. Do you it's guys a fidget sh- zipper? Do you guys remember that game? I don't know what <laughs> week it was or no, when it was. What that is? It's a fidget zipper. It's a fidget zipper. It is. Um, I don't know. I don't remember which week it was, but we played a game, and I included a picture of a random year of a Windstar. Yeah. You guys remember that? I okay. remember that. Yeah. That was so. Because it was Thanes. Yeah, it was so funny. They I forgot. I think they liked it though. He's like, "Oh, come on!" <laughs> <laughs> Thane, I drove a freaking Saturn. Fun. I drove a freaking little tiny P. I drove plastic. It what, was like, it what's was wrong like with your one with year your Saturn? Up. I liked your Saturn. I liked it too, but it's apparently Saturn, there's but something wrong with it. It was like clearly it was a like Dreamcast a step up from one of those Tonka cars. Those freaking battery powered. <laughs> that thing oh. is pretty. The little tight. That thing yeah. is small. It was just plastic, dude. It was literally. I was driving if like you, a death machine. <laughs> Really, what it's like a yeah step above like a Flintstones. Get in one car wreck and that car is total. Yeah, oh, yeah the person's the dead. So the person inside of it's dead. One of the girls mm-hmm. I was dating was at college, and I made Zago with me. And did you you brought someone, didn't you? Did you have somebody? I can't remember. We'll just keep going. <laughs> so <laughs> I brought Zay down with me. This was like winter too, because it was like for her birthday, and this was the first time I think I remember ever driving this vehicle like long distance. It's like two and a half hours. But it shakes. Like, when you get going fast, this, this, the bastard shakes. That's Saturn. Anyway, it was really, really freaky driving all the way there. Worth it, mind you. So worth it. But freaky nonetheless. Bro, around here in our town we live in, someone has, like, I would see it. I've even seen it at works. They drive, a uh, person drives through with this car. And it's a Mini Cooper uh, model after a Little Tyke's car. Like Really? Wait, well, no, no, no. It's not a Mini Cooper. It's a smart car. 
Yeah, it's one yeah, of those Google cars. It's like <clears throat> Google car? That's what I call it. Like the little yeah, tiny, but it's one of those tiny cars. But they, car. Yeah, I was. It has. It, the it has the little thing. If I yeah. say Google car, do you know what I'm talking? It has about? the same proportion. I know what a Google car is. is. Google cars are the ones with like the cameras on them. True. Yeah, but I guess. And they have, it has Google the same car, proportions as the little tykes car. car. So they painted it like camera a little tykes car. Oh, it's painted like a little tykes car. Yeah, because it's the same proportion. Yeah, that's yeah something like that. That's not a smart car. No, that's not a smart car. Smart car is a like smart is a brand. Yeah, that's why they're called smart cars. Like smart's the the brand, and then. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. definitely that that's one. That's a smart car. Look okay, up, look, look at that on the, the car, left on the uh, left right little, there on the below that. Yeah. What is that? What's uh, the point? That's like a smart car truck. At that point, what's apartment. the point? You're gonna die <laughs> either way. Mm. <laughs> like. <laughs> uh, they're making fun of it. <laughs> they are making fun of it. <laughs> look at smart. Type in type in little tykes after yeah. smart car. Wait, wait, look at that wreck. You see the wreck right oh there? Oh my gosh, the that, right person's dead. <laughs> that person's dead. We should it's look up person. wrecks with these kind of cars. Oh my gosh. Yeah, the there it is. Yeah. Oh, that's what it, that's what the car. That's looks what they like. look like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. it's, it's, like. it's really close to here. I know where it side. parks. I know the house that it so, parks at. Oh, yeah, that's creepy. So. Creepy so sky. like I, I saw the two, <laughs> yeah. I saw the two people who drive it. I don't want to assume things, but they were two women and they had short haircuts. Uh, <laughs> so I was like, we gotta keep. They were they getting? Were they, they getting they, Wendy's? They, they be careful. Were I they, know. Wait, 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 no, no, do something. I'll let you do some. So describe these people, but very vaguely. <laughs> did you see Maybe make up some more assumptions about these. No, I think that's good. I think <laughs> you, it's good. I did think you, yeah. did you see them while you were working at Wendy's? Or yeah, something? they definitely look like. If you look at them, it's like yeah. That's they look prob- like they yeah. look like friends. Yeah, they look like friends <laughs> in a way. It's just you just look at it and it's like yeah. But yeah, that little that, their their car is funny. It's just a little tight. <laughs> they you just think, yeah, at least at least somebody's getting love. Yeah. While you're flipping patties or frying some fries, getting a little bit of oil in your eyeballs. <laughs> what could you They're definitely not doing it in that car. No, they probably never know. Not. What you could do, Thane, is you could you could say, do you want the Happy Meal or do you want the kids' meal when they drive up in that? <laughs> Just to roast them. <laughs> Ouch. That would be funny. Yeah. <laughs> do you want apple slices? So you, know, you know that little, you can see a toy version of it, like what it's based off of? Uh-huh. Yeah. So we had one of those growing up. And back, like, before my family lived out in the middle of nowhere, um, I, I don't even know if I was born at this point. I was prob- if I was, I'd be, like, one or two. So my brother, though, he was he had to have been, like, five or six no probably like four or five well, anyway it doesn't matter he was really young he took that thing and got into the little tykes car like the little plastic one and drove up down our main street in town just just you know just down the road how he just walked over there he was in the car just walking down the street yeah because you gotta use your feet you know to propel he it he was running in the car down the street yeah <laughs> That's cool. He's just little. This little boy doing it. That's and dangerous. Oh <laughs> I got a story like that, too. <laughs> that is extremely dangerous. That's very dangerous. But somebody, How did he get there? He just walked. I said back when we lived in town. Oh, sorry. Sorry. I missed that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not. Oh, yeah, I was <laughs> not putting the boy out there. No, he's not so doing it. brought it in intentionally, then. And, yeah, geez. it was back when we lived lived in town, and I was like one or two, so I had a little baby. I don't remember any of that. But this is a podcast. We don't take phone calls. That's but cool. um um what was I gonna say? I think it's pretty cool though. That but yeah, that so you, he you went for it. Started going in the middle of the town, and somebody like picked him up and like brought him back to our house at Newham or something like that. It was like we found him in the street with the car. <laughs> he was in this car. Yeah. And he's like, making an illegal left turn. <laughs> so it's like the cops would pull him over. And he looks, he looks up. Oh shit! <laughs> Where did you just step out of the car? He's like, oh, sir, what did I do wrong? He's like, you need to step out of the car. We need you to. Can you touch your nose or your ABC backwards? I didn't know how to say my ABCs. Where did I have you walk this line? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't it's know like how to walk ad, off. It's like that ad with the people running on the street, and it's like they're driving the cars. It's like you know that ad. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's like I don't I don't remember what kind of ad it was for, but they're just like people like pretending to be on cars going woo do 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 and then like someone pulls them over and it's cop and goes woo 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 woo. That sounds like something yeah. straight out of the wiggles. No, it was an ad for like a car company or something or a car and I don't remember. That 
if that is a skit though, that'd be pretty funny. If we you guys, did that. You guys, have you guys seen that pretty pretty creepy like LeBron James? Yeah, so we had, no, so we have the, someone um, in, a, in a little car like that. They get pulled yeah. over and the cops oh. interrogate <laughs> him and they're like really like grilling him and they avoid everything about the car. It's like we notice you have a tail light that's missing or something. It's like yeah, not yeah, even yeah, addressing yeah. it's a fake car. It's toy. Yeah, yeah or, maybe, or the kid's underage. Yeah, yeah. He's just a little kid. I got it. Maybe their just, shoes are bald, so like their brakes are bad or something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, that would give them more traction because they have less. Uh, like, if it's flatter, there's more traction. Oh, like that's why racing slicks are a thing. But then, but no then, uh, but then he goes over a puddle and he just skids out. Just <laughs> true, yeah. If he went over a puddle, <laughs> dead. Well, what I was gonna say is, that that, has anyone too. seen that like LeBron James ad where he's like talking with his younger self and like. He has that scene. Very un- oh, yeah. yeah, very because he looks too shiny. Like it looks like scary. He's just, instead of being sweaty, <laughs> he's just greasy. Yeah, he looks plastic. It looks scary. It yeah. Looks like <laughs> when I, yeah. When I Play-Doh. saw that at first, like, uh, he's like, like he's talking about in the future. And it's like, am I gonna make it? He's like, I don't, I don't know everything. I can't tell you everything, but you gotta call your own shots. Like, wow, this is inspiring. Was this Nike? And I said, it's for crypto.com. I was like, <laughs> what? Crypto? <laughs> what? This is like a Nike ad. What the hell? Like old LeBron James just looks down and says, invest in Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's one of those dumb ones, like come coin or something. Yeah. <laughs> Why was that what you went for? I don't know. Oh, the you what, could if, have what if LeBron James is like, coin. yeah, he just looks, he looks dead in the camera. He says, invest in cum coin today. <laughs> Use code LeBron at come out. <laughs> <laughs> Kill me now. Just end me. Okay, before I end you, I gotta go back to the whole little tykes. Yeah, so my little brother, he had this four wheeler that we got for his birthday. It was one of those electric ones. And uh, in the cul de sac, you like guys. Like the plastic ones, right? Yeah, 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 yeah but yeah. they had a battery so he could drive it. Yeah. It goes literally like two miles an hour, if uh-huh. that. Like, it's, you can walk faster than that thing goes. But he drove it out to the middle of the street. And got in traffic and was just trying to go along with traffic. Dude. Well, what he didn't realize, he's like three or four. He's blocking. There's like 15 cars <laughs> behind him. That's <laughs> just going. And he's just going real slow thinking that he's just, he's with traffic. Oh, so, dude. I'd have to call my sisters because they were babysitting, but they went out there freaking out because it's Slade in this little tiny four-wheeler with like 10 cars <laughs> behind him. <No. laughs> they're, not, they're not like going around him or anything. They're just slowly going. Were they honking at all? No. <laughs> Everybody's just like they're, 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 they're probably just laughing their butts off. That is, they're like, "What's this three-year-old kid driving a four-wheeler in the middle of the that's, road?" That's so <laughs> ironic be- for multiple reasons. Because your brother's name is kind of named after my brother. Absolutely, yeah. and, and they both did the same. They thing. did the same thing, but <laughs> they committed the same crime. Further. Do you know where I lived before I moved out to where I am? Uh-uh. Literally like a block away from where that cul-de-sac <laughs> is. <laughs> Literally like a block away. The same road, then. It's probably the same exact road. <laughs> If they sh- it strikes 15 years later, <laughs> so the, the same people are like, wait, wait, is that the, is that the same guy? Is that the same is that kid? It's like deja vu. And then, like the young one's like, my parents told me about this. <laughs> I heard about this. Oh, man. That is so funny how it just lines up like that. Oh, uh, See, and I wasn't even there for that. I think I was like already moved out at that point, but like. My gosh, when they told me that story, I was just dead laughing. <laughs> it's like, what the crap? That'd be so funny to watch. I'd be scared because it's like, man, they're in the middle of the street. But that'd be hilarious to watch. All backed up. We always had to tell like, them. We're like, him. dude, you can't drive in the street. Like, you're it's not, not a car. R- it's not real. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a but car. Like, dude, he rode this four-wheeler so much. There was this time. We got it on video. I'd have to see if I can find it. But he fell asleep, and he just had it, like, cranked one way. So he's passed out like this with his arm having it cranked. He's just going <laughs> Going in a circle in the middle of the road, like in our cul-de-sac road, just passed out going in a circle. <laughs> and like, I remember when I saw this, I was like, "There's no way, there's no way." And I get up closer to him, I'm like, "Slade, what are you doing?" And he's just gone. <laughs> God, <laughs> is it really that relaxing? Because that thing's so loud. I know. Like all the rocks, yeah, and it's, it's like the sound of the. Not a the... smooth ride. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, how do you fall asleep in that? Guess when you tuck her down, oh, you're man. gone. I mean, when you're three, putting a hard day's worth the work arrest him officer <laughs> <laughs> that's the time he's, he's been asleep behind the wheel <laughs> oh. dude kids are so funny i remember this one time so my sister called the cops because she was like doing prank calls calls 911 to prank them i don't know she was four or five and uh it was so there was the three young ones they were probably like six uh four and three they were just little 
None of us, none, nobody else was home. <clears throat> and um, my mom <laughs> I got it. That's the first question. Disaster. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My mom got a call from the neighbors, and she's like, hey, the police are outside your house. You know why? And so my mom uh, rushes oh my home gosh. to talk to the cops because she left work. Well, my sister uh, prank called the cops because she's an idiot, six-year-old. But when we got home... I remember when I got home, all of them were just in tears crying. They just kept saying, they're going to take us away. They're going to take us away. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess when they saw the cops, this is what happened. They called the cops, but Slade was riding his, he upgraded from a four-wheeler to like a little motorcycle. And he was riding his little motorcycle out in the middle of the cold uh, set. Uh -oh. <laughs> as soon as he saw the cops, because we kept telling him, Slade, if you go out on the road, the cops are going to arrest you. Oh, oh, <laughs> so he sees the cops and he turns tail and hauls it back to our house. Like, freaking I'm out. Sorry. Yeah, freaking out. And so he went and like, hid in like one of the corners I think under my bed they could hide because I had a water bed or a water bed frame anyway <laughs> he's hiding he's under the bed freaking out he's crying saying they're going to take him away because he was out joy riding his motorcycle <laughs> uh, I don't know it's pretty funny but yeah kids are kids are dumb oh, that, dude if I was a cop I would have probably put a little pressure on him be like what were you guys doing huh what are you, <laughs> you know just try and freak him out <laughs> I would totally do that Oh man, that'd be funny. But there's so the oldest was six. Is Probably, that yeah. is that too young to be left at home or no? I don't know. I've never had Probably, kids. Probably, but I think so. Yeah, but like I was babysitting. They had to do it. That yeah, his yeah. family would do it. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, it's not smart. I I've never experienced anything like that. Just being the youngest, you know. Yeah, I my, was the one being taken care of by the, the older our, ones. The older our, ones. Our parents. I mean, my our parents are the oldest out of like their their siblings. So like they would babysit. They would drive and go to the like grocery store for my grandma when they were like 12, 13. Dang. They would babysit and they would drive like to the store. They would help her with all these errands because there's so many kids, so many like little ones that they had to help. But yeah, it's just a different time. <laughs> I'm they, pretty sure Zay's mom drove herself to driver's ed to take a test. <laughs> yeah, it's just they were they were so young. But like my I mean my grandma, my grandpa, they trusted them and they they had to because there's just so many. They had they, they have had a lot too of many kids. kids. So. They had nine. By yeah. the way, if you don't know how many nine is, you should probably go back to school. Count. Count. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's way too many kids. I think I'd shoot myself. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wow. <laughs> After that is one. a lot of fingers. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> Did you miss? <laughs> I I miss. Eight. It's too many. <laughs> that's too many to count. Oh, man. How many kids do you guys think you'll have? Let's just assume that we're all going to have kids. Yikes. Let's just assume that we're not Yikes, all. Sky. Let's just assume none of us are shooting blanks. I think, I think yeah, maximum right? I'd want is I want to talk about that because I've also like had like a sneaking suspicion in the back of my mind that terrifies me that I can't do the one thing I was born to do. Huh. But anyway, how yeah, how many kids do you guys want to have? Maybe two or three. I'd say th max would be three. <clears throat> I think zero is my minimum, but max would be three. Like I would chop my own nuts off. <laughs> zero is my minimum. I chop. Well, just I don't know. Man. Of course, it's your. It's everybody's minimum, right? I, I will. So if like even if I had a girlfriend or got married, like I don't know. Sometimes I think, do I want to have a kid or do I like having my free time? If I have a kid, can I put sixty hours into Elden Ring? No. <laughs> you, you still can could. If you got a girlfriend, you dude. Can still Let's be balance honest. it. True. You can still balance it. Because if you have if you hold the baby there while they're like watching, you could still yeah. Play so the baby just hears me. God damn it! And I was like throwing the controller. <laughs> and the baby and eventually the baby, the baby starts laughing. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the baby laughs and he dies. <laughs> first words are get good. <laughs> <laughs> the baby just trolls you. The first words just like you made son. it. <laughs> what if my baby turned and said that to me? It's like it's you made it this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like what just the trolling, fuck? Dude. <laughs> You're trolling! What the? <laughs> You're a baby from hell. <laughs> <laughs> that actually be pretty funny. That would be hilarious. Dude, I'd love to teach a kid to do that. You know, according to my dreams, like I may not end up getting married because someone might steal the girls I'm going. I for. totally cucked Cole in his own dream. My own dream. Whoa! <laughs> you should tell me. I'll tell the story. This I'll goes the story. deep. Jeez. I woke Cole. up. I woke up just like kind of, kind of sad about it. I won't lie. Oh so, no! <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it was one of those. Dreams. It was one of those. Like, so me and Sky <laughs> went to a party in my dream, and uh, I don't know how long the dream like went by, but it seemed like it was a couple hours at least. So. The first, like, hour or so in the dream, like, I had scoped out two girls I was kind of interested in. So, like, I went back and forth between the groups that they were in yeah. and kind of just chatted and stuff and, you know, did the thing. And then after after the first hour or so, I was like, okay, I like this girl more, so I'm going to go for her. Yeah. So I go and, like, sit by her, 
And um, over like the next hour, I do that thing that you do in high school because I've not experienced what it's like to date as an adult, only the high school dating. So I do the thing where like, I slowly scoot closer to them, you know, and like that's how you make your move is you scoot closer to them over time. And after about the hour in the you dream, you were doing that in your dream, in my like dream, scooting. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And then after about like the hour in the dream, I realized I probably moved across like an entire section of the couch, and I'm like, wait, she's doing the same thing, and she was scooting closer to Skyler actually. Oh no! And then like Skyler happened to be on the other side of the couch, or something. I don't know. Oh, okay. And then, and then um, at the end, the girl asked Skyler out, and I was just, and Skyler said yes, and I was just like. Wow, and then I woke up and I said, the place I was supposed to be able to get some, I can't even get it. Wow. Yikes. And I was like, Skylar got me. Dang, dude, even in your brain, your brain's cucking you My cold. brain's just all like, <laughs> shit, <laughs> right, dude. <laughs> you picked wrong, boy. I don't remember the last time I've had like a coherent dream. Like It's always just been... Just blurry. Yeah. Oh, this I, I thing is an alcoholic in his dreams. He doesn't remember anything. I, I actually is it like an acid dreams. trip in yours? Is it just like acidy? It's like where yeah. am I? You don't remember them though? <laughs> where am No, I don't. You should get a dream journal. As soon he as you ruined my dream journal. <laughs> as soon as you wake up, I think you have like less than five minutes to remember what you dreamed of or yeah. it's gone. I've gotten yeah. pretty good at remembering my dreams just because I can you, whenever I have can you them still rent, you guys can you guys have memories of dreams? Yeah. Mr. Electric, okay. Okay. Because yeah, yeah. there's the some that I've had spell. years ago. I yes. still remember yeah, them. That's, that's so weird, weird how that works. I've got yeah. I've got some like st- from back when I was like I don't know maybe eight or nine, dude. Like that's I've, so crazy. Just very vivid. Like it's almost like I remember living it. And it's just so weird because a lot of times my dreams will correlate with what's going around on around me. So, for example, in high school, I slept a lot in class, like a lot, a lot. Like every single one of my classes, if I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't having a good time. And I remember in my, I think it was economics class, I was, I was just taking a nap like normal. And my teacher was like, I got to freaking wake Cole up again. This is such a joke. I'm kind of angry about it. So he goes over to like slap my desk really hard to wake me up and like, you know, jolt me awake or whatever. And as he did that in my dream, I remember very vividly a kid or somebody, I don't know what was happening, but somebody was running up towards a soccer ball to kick the soccer ball. Soon as he kicks the soccer ball, it explodes and I wake up. Oh, wow. And the explosion was the sound that my teacher made by slapping my desk. So it lined up perfectly. And it just, and that happens a lot of times, actually. Dude. It's really weird how they correlate together. Or you guys have ever, have you ever had like your, your, like your dreamy, but then you have like, for my alarm clock, I have like songs that play. Oh, yeah. So it's like you hear the song play into the dream, like it leaks in. That's so cool. Yeah. And I think, I think that's kind of what mine got started with. But it's just, I don't know, dude. My dreams are kind of crazy. Cause like, I remember having one time where I, I literally lived an entire lifetime. Like, I got married, had a wife, had some kids. Then I woke up and was literally like, where's my wife? Oh, no. And I was like, oh, freak. That was a dream, and I wanted to shoot myself because I'm like, oh, my gosh, my life's All grueling. that progress. <laughs> <laughs> like, I got reset. Who put the reset? Where's my checkpoint? <laughs> um, no safe point. But, like, you know you know, in Rick and Morty, that one thing where they go play that game and, like, it lives there someone's life? That is sad. It's literally what I felt. That's a literally sad game. Literally what I felt. That's a sad game. That was my dream was literally that. I lived this entire great life, and all of a sudden I wake up and it's gone. And gosh. I was just like, oh, my gosh, what is wrong with me? That's so actually, I think this morning I, I had a dream, but I don't remember. But when the alarm clock woke up, I felt dissatisfied because it abruptly ended. In the Let's go! Clock. We both got dissatisfied last night. I had uh, an actually by Skyler. I had an incredible <laughs> dream. So while you guys were being sad, I. What was your, what was your dream Kate, like, Skyler? <laughs> it was work. messy. It was messy. Yikes! That's gross, Skyler. I didn't say what kind of mess it was. Did you shoot Well, you were cucking me and mine, so we can only assume. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, this guy. Oh, you were you were you were having schmecks with a girl and then you blew her brains out with a shotgun. Did she have like black hair? She probably did, didn't she? That's you stole right her from my dream. She didn't have black hair. She had brown, dark brown hair. So it's basically the same. There's something I told Sky about this back in high school, but there's these things called So when when back in high school I got really into like wanting to like really control my dreams and like oh like lucid dreaming yeah yeah so i got really into that and like i was like studying it like i was reading about it and like i would try and like do things to like maybe try and help myself (coughs) and like eventually got to the point of like where i realized i'm in the dream and like i can kind of like control everything and like do whatever i want 
So one thing I started doing is um, if you just go to on YouTube and you look this up, they're called binar- binaural or binaural beats. Binaural. 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 So it's like I guess the kind of the idea about it is they're like two different frequencies that play. Um, and by doing that, so they're two different like they're at two different like sound waves basically. <laughs> and by doing that, it creates almost like a another one. They kind of like mesh together, I think, and it creates another one. And like your brain doesn't almost know how to process it. So like you should, I, I mean, I, what I would do is like, before I go to bed is I would get my headphones on and like, I turn the lights off and like, instead of listening to music Wait, or pause, like relaxing, pause real quick, pause. Go you, you go to sleep with headphones on. No, that, I, I wouldn't I, like, I guess I'd fall asleep naturally with it. I usually don't, I don't like going to sleep gotcha. with stuff on, but I would just do it to like, cause I read about it, I'm like, okay, let's just see if this yeah, works. Yeah, yeah. So like I would go to sleep with them on or like I'd lay there and like, cause it's so relaxing. I'm focusing on the music and I'm kind of like zoning out. And, like, your brain almost, like, it almost trips. So it's, like, really, like, so surreal because, like, you feel like almost there's some sounds that make almost feel like you're make you feel like you're floating or something. Mm-hmm. So I would do that, and then, like, I think my brain slow. I don't know, whatever reason, it helped me, like, lucid dream. So <clears throat> did you get to the point where you could control things in your dream? Yeah. yeah. No way. Yeah. I got to try that. Yeah. I've I, always I, wanted that. I honestly recommend it. Like, I, I mean. sick. Yeah, I would, I mean, I recommend it. It was, like, it's so interesting, like, how that works, because I, I mean, I, because I would fall asleep with it, but, like, I, I, it's almost like I didn't, I didn't know if I was asleep, because I was just, like, so relaxed, and, like, you can hear everything, like, you hear the sounds, like, you almost, like, forget where you're at a little bit, and maybe, like, you don't fall asleep, but, like, you're just sitting there relaxing, and it's almost like you are asleep a little mm-hmm. bit, so it's, like, even if you don't fall asleep right then, I mean, it's really cool, it's a super cool experience, and then, I mean, it helped me. So I don't know what it is. It's so weird, but that's it's it's always been interesting to me, like that whole thing. Cause like I've always wanted to lucid dream, like be able to control it. There've been multiple times I can specifically remember that I that I've been completely aware I'm in a dream, but I can't do anything about it. Yeah. And so I've wanted to always be able to like to control things. Uh-huh. And like I remember there, <laughs> this is such a stupid one, but I'm probably like eight or nine, and I remember this dream super super well. This is like the first dream I know was a dream that I was in. I was like a superhero and I saved the world or something and I saved this girl and I didn't like her. I didn't want to like to, I guess I didn't want her to be my girlfriend. And like we got to the point where we're going to get married and I'm just like, this is not real. I know this is a dream. Like I was literally a superhero five minutes ago. This isn't <laughs> real. And I remember being like in this like car with my grandpa talking. My grandpa was like, oh, you know, the joys of marriage are great. I'm like, grandpa, I'm dreaming. Wake me up. And you're like, yeah, marriage is something special. I'm just like, grandpa. <laughs> and I woke up or something. But like it's just been like that. Every now and then I'll get dreams similar to that where I cannot control and either I don't care for the outcome or I don't like the outcome, and I just can't do anything about it, though. But I know for a fact it's a dream, and it drives me insane that I can't do anything about it. Just finding to <clears throat> finding how to make to get that control, that's what I'd like to figure out. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's fun. Because there are some, like, if you ever have, like, a nightmare, it's like you're being chased by something, yeah. or, like, something terrifying is happening, but you feel like you're running and running, and, like, it's, it's like something, like, you just feel horrible. Like, there, I got to a point, like, where I could, like, get out of that. So it's like... I could convince myself, I'm like, this isn't real. I just need to, like, really focus. And I do, like, this certain thing or, like, I just really focus. And, like, I have to, like, wake myself up. And then I wake up out of the nightmare. So, I'm, like, not, like, not getting chased. And I actively, like, get out of it. I see. It's pretty cool. Because, like, I would have nightmares. And I'm like, yeah, like, like I, I don't need to do this. I can just get out. And then I got out. And then I fall back asleep. And then I just get into, like, do another dream. And it's, like, it's so interesting. So, have you done anything cool <clears throat> in your dreams <clears throat> that you've specifically controlled that you know you <clears throat> have? I remember, um, cause I, I feel like a lot of times in your dreams, like you feel like you're really slow. It's like, you're like when you're running away from something or like you're trying to get to something, it's like you're in quicksand. It's like, oh, I can't move, you know, or it's like you're trying to grab something or like, you know, race something. I'm going to die. Yeah. Like, I, I mean, I, what I would, what I would do is <clears throat> I like got to the point where like, where I could like jump, like I would do this thing where it's like, I'd jump jump and then i'd like fly like mario yeah, yeah. <laughs> like that's what it was and it's like i didn't realize that until like we started like i was playing those games where we played them. i'm like dude that's exactly what it's like because <laughs> so i like i would jump <clears throat> and then i jump again and i could just fly and like just take off so like i could fly in my dreams like whenever i wanted to that was cool and like doing that or like realizing that you're in a dream and like you can 
I don't know, like jumping off, like just like almost like parkour like stuff, like jumping off buildings and like, like just running and jumping off stuff. I'm like, I'm not going to, this isn't going to hurt. This isn't real. Like I'm not going to die. I'll just do this and I'm like, it'll be cool. And I, mean, you know, like that feeling when you fall really from like a really high place, mm-hmm. it's like, I, I would get that still, but it's like, I would be fine. I just land and like, I'm fine. I don't so know. So you wouldn't wake up then from it. Mm-mm. That's crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, man. It's, that stuff's so cool. I, 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 yeah, I don't know. If you're interested in it, I mean, I definitely recommend it. Just I'm, Google I'm it. And, yeah, just YouTube that stuff, and you could find, like, really cool sounds that are relaxing, and, yeah, I think it, it helps, definitely. And they've <clears> actually <throat> got frequencies or binaural beats for anything. Like, so that big brain music, you always come in, you're like, big brain music. <laughs> yeah, That's yeah, what yeah, that yeah. is. Like, there's binaural beats that help me focus. Like, there's focus, there's meditative ones, there's lucid dreaming ones specifically. Um, there's some for like creativity. There's love frequencies. Like they should call them big brain beats. That'd be better. Big because they always beats. have the picture of like the big like brain on the thumbnail or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You can find Galaxy them on brain. anything. Like yeah. I found, and I listen to this one often. But I found an Undertale. It's two hours <laughs> of the Undertale soundtrack <laughs> with binaural beats. Is it just like for speedrunners of Undertale? They get better. <laughs> it's like focus training you to be a speedrunner. No, I think this one's specifically just for relaxation. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, it's because like Zay was saying, what the frequencies are, and I don't fully understand how it works just because I don't know enough about the human brain, but it essentially hacks your brain is what it does. Have you ever controlled your dream? Yeah, I have. What did you do in your dream? I fly. I fly all the time. That's like my go-to is I like to fly. Wait, you say all the time? That's a, a common thing for you to just to jump and start flying? Yeah, I got a dream journal. This is how you should start. Dude, if, if you're a guy's very... controlling your dreams, I'm jealous. Or if you're interested. I, I just get cut in mine. <laughs> I can't <laughs> control my dreams. If you're interested, I think you can. I think you really can, yeah. though. Where you should start, though, is you have to remember your dreams. So, like Inception, right? You know how he's got a deal, yeah. that he does. So I do this too, and no, my you dream, do not. I do. Thing. I go like so. <laughs> you got a little top. I'll do this like three or four times a day. I'll just count on all my fingers. I'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I do that like three or four times a day, so that m- my waking state knows. That I can do that because sometimes I'll do it in my dream and I won't be able to lift a finger or I have six fingers or I just have a fist like it's really weird. I'm not kidding. But if you have a cue like that, that it'll it, it can like like it's like the dreidel. If you spin it and it doesn't fall, then you know you're going to dream. You know what I mean? <clears throat> yeah. But a lot of people say where to start is with the dream journal. Write down all your dreams, even the ones you can't control, because once you get in the habit of remembering your dreams. It's like a good start for I, lucid dreaming. I've tried doing dream journals multiple times in my life, and I just have the hardest time because, like, just the – it's the middle of the night. I don't want to wake up right down my dream and have to go back to bed, you know? I, by the time I, I But that's the light that wakes me up even more so. Because, like, by the time I start writing it down, it's just like, well, crap, now I'm full, fully awake. What do I do now? I had to take a dream journal for psychology class. I didn't – I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying <laughs> that. You see some disturbing but things. But would you be interested in like trying to like manipulate or control anything in your dream? Does that matter to you? Uh, I like to fight fantasy creatures, like I'm oh. okay. like I'm in Dark Souls game or something. <clears throat> then I mean, then you can you can do that. Yeah, dude. <laughs> just like just try it. I mean, you don't maybe don't even you don't even have to like journal. Maybe not even try that. But try. Try the the try doing the the beats. Just try it. Set like a timer on your phone. Like you know you can get an app where like it yeah. shuts it down or yeah. whatever, so you don't waste your battery. I don't know, yeah. but Uh-oh. try it. And then I mean, I use that app every night pretty much. Yeah, dude, just try it out. It's it's interesting. Even Sorry, before everybody. you just like just laying down to relax, just try it. It's it's so interesting. You don't even have to be trying to go to sleep. Just like I mean, you might even fall asleep because it's so relaxing. But man, it, it's it's fun. I think well, those are I so wake cool. up with yeah. white underwear. You might. <laughs> if that's what you want in your dream, I guess. <clears throat> yeah, there's, I mean. Oh, you maiden. I just ditto everything Zay says because I've tried it for myself too. It definitely works. It's crazy. Did I, did I tell you about that? I, I remember, dude, it was probably like sophomore year in high school, maybe freshman year. I remember you telling me about it. Yeah. And I went and tried it, and it's trippy, dude. Even like, I think the first time you ever experience a binaural beat just because if you've never done it before and then you listen to it, man, it's so trippy. I remember the first time I did it, it was probably like five minutes in, my eyes started like freaking out, like doing the rapid eye movement. Like, you know what happens in in REM sleep, right? Yeah. Where your eyes freak out. I was literally experiencing that, but I was still conscious. Like I was still awake. And I don't know, it's weird. Like your body really 
just trips out. I I really don't think your brain knows what to do, and so it kind of freaks out. But it's it's good. It's fun. It's, it's relaxing, not, and it's not harmful. I've never yeah. heard anything. Only thing I've ever heard harmful about it is if you play the volume too high. I mean, that can like, of course, like your hearing it could damage it. But besides that, I've never heard anything. I've heard of people like getting really scared because if like you're naturally like an anxious person, like you don't know what's going on, or like you can't, you feel paranoid. I mean, maybe that, but. Outside of that, like, it's so, I don't know, it's just really interesting. It's like, you can't explain it. I mean, maybe that's what, like, I've never done hard drugs, but, like, maybe that's what it is. Because, like, that's the only way that, like, I mean, that's, I mean, from what people have said, so it sounds like, so, I don't know. It's it's fun, though. I think it's really interesting. Anyone should try it. It's free, you know. Yeah, it is free. Just put in some headphones. You have to use headphones when you do it. You do? Yeah, because yeah. it goes directly into your ears. Like even what yeah, I more do, immersive. Yeah. I didn't want to have to use headphones. Or, or earbuds yeah. doesn't matter. <clears throat> like you just it has to go cover well, your yeah, ear. Yeah, go yeah. In I your just ear. didn't want to like wear headphones while I fall asleep. And I honestly, I didn't have like high quality headphones when I did it. But you have your freaking. I mean, you have your nice ones, dude. Like your over the ear ones. Maybe even try that, dude. That could I don't want to sleep with those. What if I, like, roll over on top what, of them and like, just hurt them? Okay, what about if you just do this? What if you sit in your chair and just close your eyes or something and then just try it? Try that. I think the sound experience alone, that's what I want. I, I'd be interested in trying that. I've never done it with, like, headphones like that. But it might be really cool because it's just awesome sounding but also really intriguing, like, as far as, like, how it sounds. So maybe just sit in your chair and try it for five minutes or something. That could be cool. Yeah. They say that the best time to do it is, like, what I would do, this was several years ago, this was before we moved here, but at 4 a.m. is, like, I think it's when they say that your melatonin levels are the highest, something like that, I can't remember. Um, but anyway, I would set an alarm for 4 a.m., and I would wake up at 4 a.m., and then I would throw in the headphones, and I'd fall back asleep instantly because you're so tired. But that's when you can, like, super hack or speed up the process of it. If that makes any sense. So that could be another option you could try. I know a lot of people have talked about doing that way specifically. And I've seen results from it. Interesting. Mm-hmm. I'll give it a go. And report back next time. Then you better do too. Alright, I'll try it. Do it. It'll what be fun. Of, what kind of custom binaural beats do they have? Literally anything. If you type okay. in binaural beats and then a word afterwards, something will come. I'm binaural sure there's like even demonic ones that'll make binaural terrible. beats porn <laughs> music. It's like well, I found an I found Undertale binaural bump. beats. Like I'm sure they got Zelda. They probably got oh, anything. they probably have more now. Yeah. I think when I was doing it, like back then, like there was. I mean, it's kind of there was like ten unique. hour compilations, yeah. but now they probably have literally everything. Oh, I've found so many. Yeah, like, you could type in anything. There's like prosperity ones. Um, like I said, love focus. Like, there's binaural beats to help you get rid of negative energy. Like, your whole subconscious thing of you getting cucked by me in your dream, you can rewire your subconscious with binaural beats. I mean, might as well try it. That's, I mean, that's why not? kind of cool. That's actually pretty neat. I, yeah, well, I, there's I lots of people. Sold. There's lots of people that suffer from self, from self image issues, and like, I'm one of them. I definitely I don't know if I'm going to try it. Issue. I don't know if I'm going to try it on like a work week because I kind of want to, like, you know, not get woken up. Like in the middle of it, like and like uh, I can want to do it on one of my off days. Like yeah, do it. Yeah, I I say just try it. I'm not saying it's gonna work for everybody, but I would say like it's literally nothing. There's no bad that I think could come from this unless you're freaking listening to it at plus ten volume, blowing out your eardrums. But that's with anything. True. That's a great point. D- does does great point. better quality earphones work? I think you can probably use anything, but really, like you can. Better is I mean, obviously I was using better. Just, I was just using headphones you get with your phone or whatever oh, yeah. like back in the day. But now, I mean, do you have like what kind of headphones you got? I don't you know. Have like, I've had these like knockoff AirPods. Oh, oh I, yeah, I mean, those big boys. Yeah. Honestly, I think it might be interesting through anything because like all everything I sounds like some, different. I should get headphones. some Raycons. Sure. Why'd you say Wait that word? Sponsored no, we're, oh. ads. we're going. We're going. Oh, no, until we yeah. get sponsored, then you can say it. Okay? I mean, I hear so much good things about them, but I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna hold off till we get sponsored. Yeah, we want to say nothing about you guys. <laughs> I know everyone Bottom. sponsors them, but I don't know. Kind of <laughs> like with MeUndies or Blue Apron. I would love to get sponsored by a shoe company. Like, I've uh, I've been on a shoe kick recently, just because I learned that those high tops I was wearing killed my back. 
I did not realize how uh, important shoes are. What kind of shoes have you been looking at? Well, there's these ones called Zero Shoes. Yeah. Have you seen them? Yeah. Have you got any? No, I don't. I don't have them. But they're are you just a like, sneaker enthusiast now? I think I'm just a, a should, back enthusiast, a tiny runner. You should try them. I think I want to. I have a lot. Maybe of I need them. new shoes because my. F- they're, I mean, they're like, like they, they're like the same price as other ones, but oh, they're yeah? just like there's just like no sole, and it's just like barefoot. As you know, standing in shoes. one spot what in, they called? in the day, they're every day, zero like with an X, really yeah. kills my feet. So maybe I should get some like. They're like nice. those. They're almost like they're like the. They're almost like water shoes, basically. Like you can like crumple them up and like roll yeah. them up and stuff. Yeah, it's just like you're walking barefoot. They got some high top ones that I was very interested in. And I should I should have got them, dude. They were on sale for like sixty bucks. Now they're like hundred and twenty. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I, I'm thinking about buying some athletic ones just to like run around and like just. And I also want to try Vessi too. Have you guys heard of Vessi? I haven't heard of Vessi. Mm-mm. I'm just there's this a... one and there's another one I was looking at too, but I mean they look. There's some colors that look pretty cool. Yeah. Interesting. I've just been on a shoot kick because after I went on my trip to Vegas and Arizona, like we did all that in one day, my back was so shot. And I'm like, I've never had back issues like this before. Well, it was those freaking shoes. Those shoes were dumpsters. So I chucked them. But like the most what comfortable shoes, were they? shoes, they were just like some knockoff, like Chinese cheap $10 shoes that I bought. I don't even. They didn't even have a brand. They literally said on the side, like a website, literally like some 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 dot com. Like it was that bad. <laughs> Shoe. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Shoe dot com. But so they don't have soles. I think so. I think it's but just like you're walking. Don't cool. you want soles though? Well, uh, it's like it has no padding. It has like no. Just so like you're walking barefoot. It's supposed to simulate you walking barefoot, basically. It's just like to protect your foot from like and I mean really yeah. anything, but like, I guess it, it it's good for your foot because like. It doesn't like almost well, like baby your foot. It like strengthens your feet. Yeah. But are they comfy? <clears throat> I mean, I think they can be. Don't I want to tell you. I want comfy feet. Can I see the picture? See, of that's those? the thing. Is like, well, if, if you have like a big sole or like Doc Martens or something, like you have like the Doctor Shoals, that's going to be foot. comfy. Yeah. But it babies your foot. So, I, I think that's I, the whole idea. Is it's supposed to strengthen your foot? Yeah, I want to try them because like the most my favorite shoes that I've worn is like Vans. I don't ever have issues with. Nike Jordans, I've never had issues with. Um, and even the Adidas I have now, I've oh, never had okay. issues with. But, like, I don't know. I've never been a shoe guy before. Like, I have tons of shoes in my closet, but that's because I haven't grown since I was 14. So I've just literally accumulated shoes over the last 10 years of my life. Yeah. Here we have the Ronald McDonald. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Priced at about $750,000. Ah. Ooh, the Yeezys, the Ron McDonald the Yeezys. Yeezys. Yeah. yeah. The Mickey Yeezys. I just don't, I don't know. After I had the, the, the back, like my lower back was just shot and I couldn't figure out what the crap was wrong with me. Well, it was those dumpsters of shoes that I was wearing. I remember, I remember there's one, one girl who's like, say, uh, they said, oh, you should look at Yeezys. And she's like, okay. And she looks, and she's like, I don't like them. They look like, to- they look like wet toilet paper. <laughs> I don't think I even know what a Yeezy looks like. They look kind of weird. They they look Too like expensive. they don't look like shoes. They look they're interesting, really like but they do look they're different. I mean, that's definitely like that's Kanye's brand is different. I didn't spell shoe right. Yeah, like when he s- oh, mer- sold that the freak. G- they look like oh wait, Crocs. wait, those are different. Those are different. Those right. are like that's like a different kind of model. Those what, ones those are like ones. the normal. They look like what? Okay. Yeah, they look, they look like Crocs, but like oh, Crocs. They, they look different. like <coughs> they're like the Zora's Domain shoes. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say they look like some kind of like ocean ocean seashell <laughs> or something. See, like that's a I think it's like a different like it's a lounge one. But the other ones, Yeezys, those are like this. I guess like it's the, like the Jesus is King merch where here, it doesn't have show one, this, uh, Doesn't gift. one merch of Jesus King have like a stain where it looks like there's just nacho cheese or something smeared on it? Oh, like no. stains. <laughs> <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Look at the pin Dude. in front. The pin in front. Look at his eyes. Look at the pin. Oh no! <laughs> He's freaking out. <laughs> it's a strike on it. <laughs> Dude, I love so, that. I love those freaking bowling animation so things. I love them. Yeah. That's a hidden reply on this tweet. 
<laughs> the <laughs> Nintendo <laughs> Sports Bowling, and it shows the. If you guys know it, you know it. It's the bowling gif. <sighs> Dude, I love it's the other bowling gif where the bowling ball stops. It. No, I just googled uh, Nintendo Twitter oh. bowling. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> it I love up. that. Those freaking goofy animations. Those things. It's like spare. It's like this alien ship flying yeah. across. The I think. Yeah. Okay, so I did. <laughs> I little, love those. I man. looked into it a little bit, and that one. I don't know if this one specifically, but that it might have been made by the quarter crew. Mm. What? Yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They did that? Because they, they made a video a while back that's like a bunch of bol- weird bowling animations. And like what I saw, it's a little uh, um, uh, not unsensitive, but it's it's this Lee Harvey Oswald bowling ball sitting in like a top <gasps> building <laughs> and a JFK in a car going through the car. And then it just shows the bowling ball take a shot. <laughs> it says strike. Or like picked no. up the spare or something like that. <laughs> I, I would be shocked. I would if be shocked if that was the corridor guy. Really? I would be Shocked. <laughs> Let's see if I can find that. I'm pretty one. sure it's uh, it must be very early video of them because I don't think they do that today. Risk yeah. their brand. I don't think they would risk it, dude. I mean, that is, I mean, I know they're not that spicy. I know Freddie Wong and uh, I think the corridor who have done some edgy stuff in the past, but like, well, that was 2009. Yeah, when YouTube was even not YouTube today, dude. Even the way they like made it look, it looks vintage. It looks like it's 90s. Yeah, 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 great. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, those are great. I always see those animations, like the the really one that looks like it's Kingsfield, and the bowling ball just walks up and just kicks the pin. That'd be kind of cool to make a freaking... Oh, there's got to be a video out there. It's like a little, you know, like a little, like, uh, I guess talking about where like they're, like where it originates yeah. from and stuff. Yeah, 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 here it is. It's freaking quarter. We made slightly offensive bowling animations, and that's the freaking thumbnails of Lee Harvey Hustle. I got it. Yeah, they it. I got it. There's the there's oh, the thumbnail. No. <laughs> yeah, well, you gotta delete. I gotta go see. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go watch it. We're gonna have to watch it. Yeah, we're gonna from. go watch it after you this. See, you see what year it's from? The video? That's recent. That's recent. That's one I haven't watched. Oh really? It's probably like maybe a month ago. What if? Five months ago, I was gonna say, oh, what if they made months. it? Jeez. I was gonna say, what if they made it in response to this Nintendo thing? But no, it wasn't that. It's not in response to that. So someone took that. And then put it as they like. It might be in this. I doubt it the... because they they would have to censor the crap out of that. If, if it well, did, did, did they have to censor that though? The gunshot. Like, <laughs> well, you don't see it. Oh. You just see him take the shot, oh, and he gets a smile on the, his face, and it's like car? strike. Do you see the car? Yeah, you see them in the car drive by, oh, no. and then it cuts to him. He takes the shot, and it says like strike or spare or I whatever. Mean, it is over twenty years. So. <laughs> That's so bad, man. Yeah, isn't that oh, the comedy yikes. role? Like over twenty years is a tragedy. It's not the. It's not the comedy. It's the r slash history memes. Oh. <laughs> it's not even like a real rule. I always just quote that for funsies. Uh, I don't think it's real. So it's not. Real. Yeah. It's, just it's, that years, it's comedy. What the? F- this? I need to get a new cable. Oh shoot! Yeah, it's just like. What's that sound? I'm not sure. No, no, no. I think. Um. I don't know what that is. Sorry about the noises. Yeah, you guys are getting. We could share mics, guys. You want to come in close to me? You guys are getting ear raped. We'll just buy a new cable tonight, I guess. A new cable for that one. <gasps> it's this a replacement is one of my dad's. Time. This, they're old. What is that noise? It sounds like your water pick thing. Is somebody upstairs oh, using it? Oh, no, 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 no. Colby, Colby, we have a water pick, too. That's what she's Oh, oh. it's not someone using okay. Thanes as a bidet? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I do. Oh, oh, we were, oh, Skyler does too. We were supposed to tell Let's him. go, Skyler. Ah! Let's go. Ah! <laughs> uh, by the way, do you guys want to get a bidet? I'll order one tonight if you guys want a bidet. I was thinking of installing yeah. it after our inspection. So I don't know. It feels weird. It feels weird the, going the, ba- the toilet sprays you back. It's great. You have I don't know how you feel old. about it. No, you know that you know that rage comic where you're you're pooping and then some it drops and some of the water splashes back up. And you're like, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> That's Ugh. what that is. But you're yeah. deliberately having the toilet splash but you back. Yeah, it's warm. Yeah, it's clean. No, it's not it's warm. It's not warm. warm. No. You have you to can get, get the, a heating one. You can, but they're way expensive. Do you want a warm one up, up in there? No. I, don't I would rather have a warm one up in there. A warm one would be <laughs> preferable. Okay, okay, sometimes I'll take some toilet paper and I'll like, kind of like bunch up in my hand so it's like a nice and folded and flat. And I'll turn on the hot water on the sink and get it wet and then go underneath it. Just use a wet one. It's wipe. nice, and, but it's warm too. Okay. 
Does it break apart? No, not if you do it right. <laughs> I've, I've had some trial and error. So you've mastered the technique. <laughs> I've mastered the technique. Will's fingers poked through. Oh. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm just like, oh. Oh. <laughs> well, you have to extra wash that hand. I guess I can't do that. So remember, remember when I started developing the technique of opening the door with my left hand? It's basically because of that. That's probably what spawned that. We definitely should wash our doorknob. I use my left hand, though. I do, too. It's not the I, poop hand. But we should definitely wash the doorknob. Is it nasty looking? I don't know. I just think that washing doorknobs is, should be a thing. That should be. We should normalize, normalize, it. normalize, yeah, normalize washing, washing, washing doorknobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're gross. Bruh. Our bathroom's just gross. Oh, it's so bad yeah. right now. I don't know what to do. Like, Let's throw away the washcloth in there. You're supposed to dry your hands yeah, on. That I don't touch that thing. <laughs> I don't either. I, I use it to wipe it's down. A thing. It's a thing. It's a It's... Oh, you do? Uh-huh. I wonder if that's what made it discolored. I think it's me. I don't know. You guys I have you guys, share a, you guys have like a uh, there's a like towel a yellow in there? spot. There's just a yellow two spot. Two yellow on spots it. on both back, both sides. It's do you have like, a do you have a towel in there that yeah. you share though? I don't share I don't, I don't use, use it. it. It's just stain that uses it. Oh thing. Have you ever washed it before? I have several times. It's oh. just stained yellow for some but it's like in a circle. It's really weird. It's really weird. Mm. Was it really cheap? Yeah, it was pretty cheap. I wonder if that could have been it. Yeah, that it's could disgusting. be it. Disgusting, but I definitely think we need to get a candle for the bathroom. I think the fire will kill the I think, smell. I think we need multiple one of those and just switch them out every week. I don't use the towel, so okay. you can do whatever you want. <laughs> yeah, I just like to have a little towel. <laughs> oh, they right smell there. nasty too. <laughs> yeah, they stink bad. The times in the past when I had used it before I started using my own stuff. Did you smell your hands? My hands smelled worse <laughs> after <laughs> using it than they did before bad. washing my hands. Straight bad. Yeah. And that is not a good thing. Oh. It's disgusting. That's literally why I started using my own rag to dry my hands is because I didn't like the <laughs> way it Ugh. smelled. Yeah. Well, and I've just I've mastered the technique of taking a dump before I shower. So then, like, I, I pretty much only crap so once a like, day. you can, like, have some warmth in there and waft up the warmth of the smell, you know? No, it's like, so you I gotta can... you got to mix the, the warm it's smell so and the poop. dump. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm... You no, see that I know what Sky's... I know well, what Sky's technique it's is. So I, I can, know it. It's so I can poop and then shower. Yeah, yeah and then clean your booty. I know. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I do that, too, sometimes. You have to do the old credit card to get it all clean. Um, I just take I just take uh, dumps at work because that's just my time schedule. It's my package. I think my package is here for Your Friday. package? Yeah. I've been waiting like for freaking ever. It's not just food? No, I didn't order any food. Okay, go get your package and I'll continue right. to tell the story. So if it's like 1030 at work, I don't have to go to the bathroom. 1045 maybe. 1055 pretty dang close. 11 o'clock is like a guarantee. If I haven't gone by then, then I have to by 11 a.m. every day without <laughs> fail almost. I don't think I've oh, like the only times is if I happen to go to the bathroom before I go to work, but that's a very rare occasion. Yeah, it's just my body's been trained to go at eleven o'clock. See, I've. What's interesting though is like we go relatively around the same time because I shower about ten ten thirty. Yeah, because I want the the hot water to like. Be hot again? Yeah, be. I mean, I don't take hot showers. I definitely take more colder ones. Yeah, but after me, you have to wait. Yeah. Sorry, Skylar. It's just how I work. Yes, it's okay. I like to burn my back. It's okay. Let's go. We're gonna have a live unboxing. Yeah. Make sure you cover up our address. I mean, I don't care if you guys know where I live, but these guys do. I definitely care. Yeah. Don't come to our house. Unless don't. you're gonna give us a lot of money. Well, yeah, I don't want them at our house. I just don't care if they know where we live. That's a really crappy way that they tape that. Is up. that from, Lord. is that from, Amuzun? No. Amuzun? Oh, don't say their name until we're sponsored. Sus, super sus. Is anyone sponsored by Am- Amuzun? Nobody. Well, I mean, Am- you streamers. can say in a roundabout way streamers Com- are because Com- they own Twitch and Twitch pays p- streamers to be what? on their platform. No, what I should say what? Because what? what you just said. Yeah, don't. You. I don't want him to don't repeat what, it. What do me? I? No. Don't repeat it, Zane. He said the word. Amazon? Yeah, but he said it funny. Uh, you remember Bloodborne? Amogus? Does remember Bloodborne, the cum dungeon? <laughs> so what'd you get, Zay? Is so it cool? You gotta talk in your mic, too. Weird. Nobody can hear what you're saying. He, didn't, like, protect it at all. he says I they didn't protect broken. it at all. Like it's gonna look like a wiener. It's a... It is a wiener. Da, 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 da. It really is a penis. It really is a oh, wiener. It's a... It's oh, a strap it's one of those on. pipe, no, pipe no, no. things. So you put... So you have to have shoes on when you, you do it. You have to have shoes on when you but, do it. Um, but you, um, I think, I think it's got to be. Foot massager? 
Oh, is it a foot massager? No, it's this. I think you have to have a shoe on. Yeah. Oh. Nobody gets what you're saying. I'm trying to mic. tell them. Yeah, so, so you put, yeah, you so you put, put your um, on it. weight on. You put weights on. You put it. weights on it. And then um, you can adjust it too to bring it into your shoe size. And then it's just like this. Oh, and you can work out your shins. Yeah, but it's also good for your ankles too. That's what you've been waiting on. Mm-hmm. How long for some PVC pipe? Three weeks, I think. Two weeks. Could you not have just made that yourself? I don't think I could make this myself. Oh, let me see it. The only hard part, I think, would be the wooden blocks, right? Everything else is just PVC it looks pipe. Like, it looks like something for a Blue Man Group con, uh, <laughs> show. <laughs> I don't oh, think I could have that. When you first pulled it out, I thought it was a, some sort of like m- m- marshmallow gun or something. I think you could have done it, Zay. I uh, believe in you. You need the correct <laughs> training. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird that they use screws instead of just using glue. Like that. It's like that Maybe one pipe they have where they like you're gonna be put go like on it. Yeah, but if you glue it right, it should be fine. Don't you think? Probably like pipe glue is pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Zay, you could have done do, this. Do you guys, did you guys ever want to go to a Blue Man Group concert? No. Nope. Oh. Follow up question. If I was in Vegas, yep. maybe. How much money did and this I was, like, cost? Going to something else. Uh, like, like fifty yeah, bucks. I guess fifty. Yeah. Twenty, thirty bucks, maybe. Yeah. Oh. Name one Blue Man Group song. Name one. They're all like experimental the instrumental songs. They're like a live band. You have to really. When's the last time tibia. you've listened to no, one of their songs? It's, it's the I, tibia. I, saw, I watched a video from like I think NPR and they did an office thing and it's cool. I think it's very mm-hmm. impressive what they do, but I would much rather go watch an actual band. I will say, I bet it's actually worth the money because like I say that without ever going to a Blue Man Group show though. Probably so like well, maybe you should go. I know. I probably should. Love how there's two separate conversations going on. Sorry, guys, if that was hard to follow. Just rewatch, just re listen to it twice, okay? There you go. Problem Would solved. Would you ever <laughs> go to a Broadway musical? Yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to go. I think Would it'd be you fun. go to, uh. Would you go to Spider Man? They don't even play that one anymore. Spider Man. Yeah, I'd love to see something on Broadway. It'd be Shrek or nothing. Shrek. <laughs> Aren't they doing a Shrek, Shrek Broadway Yo, thing? bro. It's no, no. I saw, oh, post, I saw posters around town that said the SpongeBob musical playing at yeah, this place. I it's saw like, it, too. It's like, oh, well, my they gosh. they did Shrek. I know what you're talking about. They did Shrek like a month ago. Here? Yes. What the? Oh, my gosh. I... Because, like, you know how we, the way we go home? We go that road. and It's, it's over that way. That, pl- that play out there. Yeah, there's a play yeah. out there. They, yeah. did, they did Shrek. Like, when the we Shrek went home, I looked musical. at the sign. It said Shrek. I'm just like, nice. I would like to see The Greatest Showman musical, if that's a thing. I also would love to see The Phantom of the Opera. I think that would be a oh, fun musical. Oh, I love to see The Phantom of the Opera. That's like one of my dream plays to see. Because that's, I'm just basic, obviously, <laughs> but bless you. Thank you. Well, speaking of basic, that's basically the end of the show, everybody. Because we're basic <laughs> bitches. <laughs> I love seeing us in like actually 60 frames a second know, over looks there. good, dude. And it's not like delayed, it's good. Thank you guys for watching this or listening to this episode of the Talking Rad Podcast. We hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have on your on YouTube, like it, subscribe to the channel, check out our main channel where you can find fun videos that we make pretty much every single week about a variety of different topics. Um, yes. Plug other things, guys. I don't want to be the only one talking. Uh, we have a Patreon where we're watching the Twilight series if you guys want to scat on over to there and subscribe We've to our Patreon. We've only got one more movie, so best to catch up. Uh, oh, yeah, when are we going to watch that? I'm going to be gone this weekend, but I guess if you guys want to watch it tonight. No. no. I don't really want to watch it tonight. I don't um, want to watch it tonight either. Uh, We've been live streaming. We've been playing games and having fun live streaming. So yeah. You can watch Star Archives on those. YouTube. We usually, we, we've been trying to plan it out and Give people time Advertise in advance. It a little bit. Yeah, give people time in advance to get there. So, yeah. it's about once fun. a month. About once a fun month. Time. The Wait. next one's gonna be fun. It's not gonna be a race. It's gonna be all four of us working together as one cohesive unit. I can't wait to hold hands while we all like like play with one like one controller. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like me and Sky are holding hands, and Zay and me are holding hands, and those two are holding hands, and it's just Zay's right Is hand Chip's and challenge? Zane's left hand are c- getting the controller. So I would have to play like this though. Oh, this no, would... you don't play. We just hold hands. <laughs> we'll we'll switch every now and then, but like they'll be playing through us, you know, or we'll be playing through them rather. 
because we're it's, holding the remote is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. yeah. We're all holding right, hands. You left hand. So it's a uh-huh. switch. It's like one of the Joy Cons. I'm holding the left one, then I hold Sky. Oh, hand. that would work so much better Sky, than I was hold Sky's con. Wait, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just holding hands. I don't even get to participate. You're gonna play eventually. We'll take turns, but for the first part, no, you don't. Sorry, but you get to like, like you get to send some some waves through your hands. Can I tickle Thane's hand while I'm? If you playing? like to, that's up to you. I'm gonna tickle you while we. Play. I don't know what's that going on lose, over there. I would lose focus. That's what I got. Oh, hey. by the way, I interlock my fingers. Eh? Okay. Okay. That's not what I'm here. <laughs> bet, bet, Cole. Yeah. Bet. I've held Thane's hand before and interlocked my fingers. <laughs> no. It's true. I no. have. No. <laughs> yeah. It is no. true. Yeah. Thank you guys again, though. Have a great rest no. of your week, and we will see you in the next one. Bye. Oh crap. Uh, keep it rad. <laughs> I don't know that part. Bye bye.